everything in the same yeah. meeting. Yep, yeah. so it's next. Cormac, don't go now, Fooney Street. So we Cormac. haven't done anything deliberately. We no. just carried on doing it by... Um, it just hasn't been recognised. It's yeah. a book place there. But I do want to go back to um, the farm. Do we, even if a farm is on one title and he's got two houses, are we charging UAGCs? We, cha we are charging, not the, and it's only one title. Yep. Uh, so we charge yeah, absolutely one. correct. We charge one UAGC and one additional well. And one, one additional yeah, well. Yeah, and, that's right. and that's how we get yep. it. Yep. Now, sitting in that thing, I'm just going to just get the, then you can ask me that. We have things like, can we, things like Warwick uh, what does this mean, what does contiguous mean? So Martin just talked about contiguous because there's Kinleaf, there's a great big site, what do we do there? Warwick have got their building and their car park. So there are, they don't should be anomalies. There's already anomalies in this and we delegate out to our staff because Kevin Duffy went out to inspect one, then comes back and says, yes, it fits or it doesn't fit. So there's going to be anomalies whether the, the building is formed, whether it's not. But recognise the man who owns the, the investor who owns the flats, if the flat's empty, we don't say you don't have to pay. So somewhere in there we have to find these anomalies and find a way forward, which is quite equitable. But talk about contiguous and what we do and those, the big guys like... Can we send that? Sure. Um, yes, in 95% in of cases, um, if you've got a separate property title, that's a rating assessment. You get one rate bill for it. But there are a few exceptions, um, and one is where you own two properties. That, yeah, so we'd say a certificate of title means a property. <coughs> um, but if you've got two properties side by side, sharing a common boundary, and they are used for the same purpose, then they can be, or they have to be, under the Rating Act, amalgamated together for rating purposes. So what that means is that we still actually treat them as two separate properties, we send two separate bills, but we calculate the rates as if they were just one property, um, nothing happens with their title, so they get, we, they get one bill which has got most of their charges on it, the other one will just have a few little extras on it. Um, if they're a, a residential property and there happens to be a house on both, they will get two UAGCs, even though they're contiguous. Um, or if they were a, a farm. Why? Why? Uh, because there are still two dwellings. Um, so, yeah. okay, but so that doesn't happen. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other one is where there, where there can be a difference is if you've got two titles. Um, but you've built a building across the boundary um, of those two, then in that case we actually are required to combine those two titles together and just do one rates bill and it's treated as if it's one. Because there's no possible way you could sell that property, those two titles separately, because there's construction over the boundary. Those are, <coughs> there's not many of those around, but those are a couple of exceptions um, to the rule. Farms, the government has, and they're enforcing it more this year, farms are um, a little different in that they're now saying that if you've got a farm and it's over more than one title, then we are required to combine them together and just do one rates bill if the farm is farmed across those title boundaries. But the rule of the charge for each dwelling still applies. It really makes no difference. It's just the number of rates bills that we do. So about ten weeks, you know, ten weeks, you know, big, but yep. across the yeah. Yeah. So um, the, the rating act, we're only allowed to. Um, charge rates based on the physical characteristics of the property and the design of the buildings. It's, it's not about, we can't do anything about how many businesses may operate from a property. We can't do anything um, about the level of turnover, profitability or any vacancies or anything like that. Um, so in the case of a very large um, property that is <coughs> designed and built to be just one operation, then it will have just one uniform and general charge. Um, it will of course have a much higher capital value and you know so the general rate component will be significant. Um, but that's the way it is now, that's the way it will always be. Um, so whole place won't take the room private. Um, yeah, that's separate properties. They've split the titles for at 
at Finleaf and we've now got the um, plywood mill on a separate title. Um, the, um, the new um, Litchfield um, situation up here, they've got um, you know, one big thing, and one new AGC. It may be that when the, um, the new um, milk powder drying thing is finished, that we look at that and say, actually, we can see two separate parts here. We can see two defined areas, and it may be that we can apply two uniform energy and charges because of the design. They may be independent. I'm not sure. I, I don't know what we're talking about. Um, so it's possible, but in most cases. Places like Warwick yeah. that have a, yep. uh, two titles, one car park or one left. Yeah. Um, actually, Blue Pacific Minerals is a good example, just been built. Um, there off uh, Browning Street there, lovely building at the back. Right at the front of that, off Browning Street, there's actually a, the uh, entrance behind the lovely new stone wall they built. There's a separate property title, nicely sealed on its own. That is very definitely part of <coughs> and used by the property in the back that the building is on. So those two <coughs> titles are rated as contiguous. They're treated as if they're one. However, they own around in the hut block subdivision around the back. They've got a couple of sections there that they are not using as part of Blue Pacific. They are separate and they get the uniform energy and charge independently on those because of that. Um, so, yeah, that's. They have to see the whole rating sort of thing, just as a matter of, you know, of interest. And it's right. What do you think is our biggest rate pay? I they pay a UAGC, and I still don't know what they would actually get out of their rates or their UAGC. They only pay one. Yeah, they pay what? On each side. Yeah. Mm. So, so, so this is, you can see that as we come in, we've got that. Now, there is, hopefully there will, we'll accept that there is a change. And for me, as we accept the change, and then the big discussion is how, how do we implement it over a period of time, or what do we do? But this is, this is it as we come forward. So, <coughs> for that then. Now, Councillor Lee, you have a question. Uh, actually, uh, Martin could answer it, but I have got another one actually. Yeah. So, what you're saying that if um, somebody owns a property that, say, there's a two, two story um, unit, yeah. they've got a shop downstairs and a separate, different business upstairs, then they'll pay the, the two different um, unit rates. But if they had the shop downstairs yeah. and they used the one upstairs to yeah. say storage, so they're still only paying for one as, as opposed to paying, paying two under the new system. So if you went into Neil Street, besides down there, you would have a, a shop down at the bottom and the accountant up the top. Yeah. And at present, they pay one new yeah. AGC yeah. and surely each business, and, you know, a one. Uh, you know, rating in that is that right? That of course also in Neil Street for a while there was an empty shop and a flat upstairs. You know, and so uh, you know what you know takes place now. There are there. What I'm suggesting is that we go ahead, but there will be anomalies. But we actually grant, like we do in a lot of other things, that if I can think of again, certainly because I know the tower is so well. The shop there in which upstairs is an empty space which will never get used for anything, you know, and so it's almost impossible 